Hello and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. I'm AC and today on this beautiful sunny day here in Frederick, Colorado, I'm going to walk you through this 2022 Antero Bamaga. This is on the Sprinter chassis. It's a 144-inch wheelbase, 3-liter V6 turbo diesel. So you get 188 horsepower, 325 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, beautiful machine. I'm just going to kind of walk you around. We'll start up front, work our way around, and I'll point out the different features for you. You can see we've got upgraded wheels and tires. These are the black Rhino alloy wheels with the KO2 tires from uh, BF Goodrich, which are, I know I've said it over and over, they are my favorite all-terrain tire. Got really nice running boards here. Makes it really easy to get the mud off your feet if you're out playing around in the dirt. Right here is our exhaust for our SPAR heating system. As you can see, it says caution, gets hot. Be careful, don't sit on that spot. You can't sit over here. Going to work our way around. You can see I've got our awning out. Turn on the awning lights there. Got a really nice awning. Perfect for days like today when it's not windy. Uh, we had, we were cooking out here, had a couple lawn chairs, it'd be perfect. We'll go ahead and close that for right now. We'll come back around to that. As we work our way around the back, we've got a, we've got an external solar port. This does come with three panels up top. They're 90 watts a piece. So you got 270 watts of solar up top. You can add another solar panel right here. On the back end up here, you'll see we have a rear scene light up top. Also our backup camera up there as well. We've got our Go Rhino step. It makes it easy to get in and out of the van. We've got our receiver hitch with our seven pin connector right here. It is rated for 5,000 pounds. Couple things to point out back here. We're gonna have a standard outlet. It's got two USBs on it as well. On this side, we're gonna have our garage or under bed lights so that when your bed is down, you can access this from the back and have light if you're opening it up at night to get gear out of there. We've got our water pump switch. You can actually turn on the water pump back here or inside on the main panel and I'll show you that here shortly. Here's our rear scene light up top. And then this is our air compressor. So we do have a quick connect right here for the air compressor. Right here's our outdoor shower. We do have hot and cold water. All right, when you purchase your new Bamaga, you get an adapter here for the uh, plug-in on the, on the outside. It's 30 amp shore power. You can plug this in and then just plug in at home. So you don't have to be plugged into 30 amp. You'll get a nice air kit here. So you'll get an air hose that will reach all four tires. And you'll also get your outdoor shower hose that goes right in here. Under here, you can see our air compressor. We've got that right here. You can see all the water fittings here. You have a couple access panels, just in case you need to adjust your bed, any kind of service. You're gonna have access panels along the side here. Back here are gonna be your three Lion Energy Lithium batteries, these have 105 amp hours a piece. And then you're gonna have your Red Arc battery charger right there. And this little, this Red Arc management system will actually choose which way to charge your batteries, what's more appropriate at the time right now. As you can see, we're charging with solar. If the van was running, it'd go to vehicle. I don't know if you can get close enough to show that. There you go. It's a really good system. Under here, 
I'm just going to do it while we're outside, so I'm not having to squat down inside. That's your 3,000 watt Zamp Zantrax uh, inverter. Also, as you can see back here, we do have our roll lift screen, so we can black out the back windows. We can let some fresh air in. Today would be a good day for that. Oh, one more thing while we're back here. We can just point out that nomadic 12 volt rooftop air conditioner. That will run off of the batteries. So again, we've got three lithium batteries in here. You can run that, I'm gonna guess six hours, depending on what else you're running at the same time. All right, as we come back around the driver's side, a couple things here, we do have the ladder mounted on the side, which is really nice. If you're gonna add accessories to the rear, spare tire rack, Sherpa, all of those other options you can have back there. Your ladder's already mounted here. Right here is gonna be your water fill. This shows that it's been sanitized. And actually it was winterized. I actually dewinterized it right before the video. Uh, we're gonna do a couple other videos for you guys later. Uh, how to winterize, how to dewinterize. I'll be doing those here in the near future for you. Thanks to Joe for helping me out with that this morning. Joe at Antero, if you haven't talked to him, he's awesome. Um, here's our 30 amp service. Again, that's where you would plug in if you want your 110 outlets, if you want to uh, just charge your batteries quickly, this is the best way to do it. Up top, you can see our roof rack and you can see one of the solar panels. Again, we've got three panels up top. Down here under the ladder is gonna be our gray tank. So this has 18 gallons of fresh water and 20 gallons of gray. So this is where you would dump that. You take that off, pull the valve, and that'll dump your gray tank. Here on the driver's side, we do have another small running board to help you get in and out. Under your seat, you're gonna have a fuse panel. Again, always remember, if something's not working, Try the power source first. Make sure your fuses and breakers are working properly. On this side, we're gonna have our automatic, uh, automatic door locks, windows, mirrors, and this does have heated seats. Nice little cup holder in the door here. Your hood latch release is right here. Light controls. And then I'll go through on the interior side and show you some more, but. You can kind of pump this, it goes up and down, adjust the backrest. Oh, forgot to show you the fuel. I know most of you guys have seen these videos, so you know where you're at, but if you're new to this, this is where you fill up your diesel. It's kind of hidden, it's not labeled, so if you don't know where it's at, it could take you some time to find it. All right, so under the hood here again, Mercedes. You're gonna have your def fluid, really easy to get to. You've got your coolant, you've got your oil. Over on this other side, we're gonna have our hot post right here if you need a jump start. That's where you'd put your, your hot and then your ground is gonna be right there. So you have positive, you have ground, you have your windshield wiper fluid right in here. Of course, they did leave the flux capacitor in this model, which is good. Really beautiful outside color. I really like this avalanche gray. Now, as we go to walk in here, you'll see that we have another screen on this side. Again, it's another Roliff. It does have the magnet release so that you can have it closed and not have to zip and unzip it to get in and out. You just kind of open it up with the magnet side. Right here, a couple things to point out. 
This is your awning controls. Your awning lights are right here. Your passenger scene lights that we showed earlier. And then again, you can turn the garage or underbed lights off and on from here or in the, the back compartment there. Got another outlet here. This is a kick plate here. This will help you hop onto the bed if you need a little jump. If you need a little boost, that's where you step. You got your fire extinguisher, your smoke detector, carbon monoxide detector there. Good thing I have long arms. I can show you the refrigerator from out here. It's really easy to open up. It's a 4.6 cubic foot refrigerator. It's a 12 volt. So it's bigger than what's in most standard little vans like this. Also has some cool lighting right above it. And I'm gonna show you something while you're looking at that. We've got these cool LED lights. And as you change the color, it'll change the color on the fridge as well. I hope that that's coming through, it's kind of cool. Pick what color you want to set the mood with and it'll match here, match up on top. All right, as we come in, we're gonna have a 700 watt microwave. Again, most vans this size don't have a microwave. This one's got a bigger fridge. We've got a nice microwave induction cooktop. And then of course we have our 10 inch deep sink, stainless steel, got some nice accessories for it. As you can see, there's water in there from when we were dewinterizing it earlier today. Haley at Antero, thanks again for helping me get this set up this morning so I can video it. Got some nice compartments here. I want to show back here is where that Bosch water, water heater is. And again, when we go through and we do the uh, winterize and dewinterize videos, I'll take these drawers out, kind of show you where all the valves are, but just kind of want to point that out for now. You also get a nice cutting board. And as far as storage, you got a really nice pantry right here. And a deep drawer you can use for trash bags, for cereal boxes, whatever you want to use it for. Up here is our main control panel. So we have our Kenwood Bluetooth speaker system here. This is tied to the two speakers on the rear doors. One on each door. That you can Bluetooth your phone, play your music right off your phone. It's not tied to the stereo up front so that you don't have to have the van running to do that. You have your master light or power disconnect here. Got your ceiling lights. That is for your hot water heater. So you would press and hold that. This light will come on showing that the hot water heater is on. Give it a few minutes to warm up. Then that will shut off automatically so that you don't forget about it and kill your batteries. Here on the control panel, you can see our battery level, our fresh tank, and then our gray tank. Because we dewinterize it, there is 39% of it is full right now with, with the, uh, the water that we use to dewinterize. Here is your S-Bar furnace. So this runs off the diesel in the van. You have to have at least a quarter tank. Once you get down to a quarter tank, it will cut off. Uh, it will shut off so that you don't leave yourself stranded somewhere. Really easy to use, really efficient. I think I'd uh, run 22 hours on one gallon of diesel. All right, we can show back here. We have our charging cubby, our power station. So here's the controls for the mood lighting. You're gonna have a 12 volt and a couple of USB ports, and then a standard outlet with two more USB ports. Again, a good place to set your phone, charge up. That Nomadic air conditioner that I pointed out earlier does have a remote. If you wanna lay in bed and not have to stretch up, you just push the buttons, it's really easy to use. We got a nice reading light. You can change it from red kind of bright shut it off and of course we're going to have our bed system here which is on this candy lever system so each of these panels uh, work independently so you can actually use this as a table uh, you can use it as a workstation you can set up a couple of the 18 inch stools folding stools they work really well in here 
leave it as a desk or workspace. And then when it's time to lay down, you would do both sides here. It does have a Velcro safety latch on here, just as a backup in case the main, in case you didn't shut it right, didn't lock in place, or it fails, you have something to hold it up. One of the nice things is on this bed is it's a lot wider than what you normally would get. Uh, you got plenty of room up there. It's almost a full queen. You can leave it down. Put some additional memory foam on top if you want a little bit more space. Oh, here we go. Or if you want a little more comfort, I should say, you could add some memory foam on top. Another cool feature they give you back here is you got these two ram mounts, one on each door. You can add some accessories here on the ram mount, an iPad holder, a phone holder. So while you're laying in bed, you can set up your, if you're watching Netflix or something, you can set it up right there. Down here are going to be your breakers and fuses. Everything is labeled. Again, something's not working, check your breakers and your fuses. Yeah. Your fuse box is also labeled. And then here, uh, this box here, again, this does not have a wet bathroom, and closed bathroom. It does come with your thinking throne. Nice spot to just sit down for emergencies. You do have your porta potty, which I'm going to take out and I'm going to show something here on the inside here. This has a latch mechanism that will actually lock down in place into this l track system right here. That way it's not sliding around while you're traveling. It closes up nicely. Some folks will move that over here and use it as a way to get in and out of the bed. Xantrax controller, I think we went through everything but that. This is your Xantrax um, 3000 watt inverter controller right there. Induction cooktop, please make sure you have the right pots and pans so that it'll function properly. If you have any questions, give me a call. I can kind of give you an idea of different brands that you can buy. Up top here, we do have our blackout shades. So you'll get blackout shades for all the windows. So that when it's time to go to bed, you can, they're magnetic. They just stick onto the window frames. Nice storage up here. Storage is a key in a small van like this. You got a nice rod here. Some folks have put like a little curtain here to completely block off the back or they'll use it as a closet and just hang up clothes right here when they get to where they're going. All right, up front, the seats will swivel around. The parking brake, just to save you a headache. The parking brake, once engaged so that you can swivel your seat, you can actually push it straight down without pushing this button, and it'll stay engaged so that you can swivel your seats around. To disengage, you have to push the button, lift up, and then go down, and that disengages it. Your key fob, there's actually a spot down here if you haven't seen these, but it fits right in there. That keeps it communicating with the van properly, with the computer system basically. Down here you're gonna have another 12 volt outlet and a USB type C. So you're kind of hard to see, so you kind of have to get down there. Thank you for getting a good picture of that. To push it, you hold the brake down, push the start button once. It'll fire it up. Then you have your Mercedes screen. We have a 10 inch screen. And again, we could do a, you could spend hours on this, this whole system here. I suggest just kind of when you get this, we'll walk you through it. It gives you some good stuff to go park in your garage, pluck your van in turn on the heat or the AC and just kind of hang out and get to learn it. 
there's no better way to learn than to start pushing buttons because um, then you'll have a ton of questions you can call us back we can answer them you never can learn everything on the first day there's so much to these vans uh, even though they're pretty simple so you have your navigation your apps you go into apps you can do Apple CarPlay you can do Android Auto and then you can always hit the home button just to return Now you can see exactly where we're located. So if you have any questions, get in here. Uh, on the steering wheel, something to point out. So you have two little mouse pads, one on each side. This right mouse pad here is going to work your touch screen. So you can actually scroll through there. It's really cool, really simple. So while you're driving, you don't have to be stretching over here. The one on the left here will control your, your dash over here. There's always a back or a home button. And then you can scroll again back with the mouse pad here. You got your cruise control here. You can actually set it so that uh, it'll slow you down as you're getting closer to vehicles in front of you. You can make your phone calls off the right side here. Pretty simple. Again, it takes a little getting used to if you've never had one. Um, take the time to learn everything so that you learn it before you hit the road on the long trip this is where you shift your gears so you basically just have a reverse goes up I'm going to go ahead and go up it'll swap you over to reverse down one puts you in neutral down to the bottom is in drive and then to park you push the button right here on the end puts you in park pretty simple not a lot to the van up here. I did forget to point this out. So we do have a light bar up front. This is your power button for that. And then this is your battery merge. If you leave your lights on on the van and it starts killing your chassis battery, you can hold this. It'll merge the house and chassis batteries together and start up your van. Let's see, I think I got everything. We do have a max air fan up here which is really nice. Uh, days like today when it's, it's kind of just cool, it's not hot, uh, you want to get just a little fresh air, I'd recommend opening the screens or putting down the screens. Turn this on to circulate some fresh air and you're ready to uh, start your next camping adventure. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to call, text, or email. If you have questions on anything you see inventory-wise on the lot, you want me to do a FaceTime video, I'm more than welcome to I would love to do it actually. Uh, gets me out of the office and into the coaches where I like to be. Uh, si hablo español, me pueden hablar al 720 276 42 41. Thank you guys. Thanks again for all the comments, suggestions for improvement. I love seeing that stuff. We can only get better. So thank you guys.